Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I am a mother of three. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button down below. This video is another Cracktober video. I am making a ham in the crock pot and this is my first time ever making a ham, period. I am telling you guys, this was so easy and it was so delicious. So first you're going to need any sort of ham. This is just one that we had in our freezer and then you're gonna need a can of pineapple chunks and you're gonna wanna keep that syrup in the pineapple chunks for later. You're gonna want the some crushed red pepper. It did say dried chilies. I did not have those. I had crushed red pepper and it worked the same. You're gonna want some ginger and some brown sugar and I did not show in this clip because I completely forgot, but you're gonna want some maraschino cherries as well as the juice in the jar. I had to call my dad and ask him because he is like the ultimate ham maker. So I went ahead and I took off the wrapping and got all of that off and then I will go ahead and stick the ham in the crock pot. I did want to mention this video is a collab with Mandy from Living in the Mom Lane. She is over on YouTube as well as on Instagram and she does all sorts of different motherhood videos like Extreme Clean With Me's, grocery hauls, and a ton of other different recipes. So be sure to go over and subscribe to her channel if you already haven't. And if you're coming over from her channel, then welcome. Like I said, my name is Julie and I'm a mother of three. I do all sorts of motivational mom videos like cleaning and shopping, cook with me's. So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe and join our family. So next I'm going to take some brown sugar. I used about a half cup of brown sugar and I put that all over the top of the ham. And then I forgot to do this, so I had to take some back out, but you're gonna wanna reserve a little bit of the juice for later, so don't pour all the juice out of the pineapples. And then you're gonna put some pineapples in the crock pot. Reserve a few of the pineapple chunks as well, and you'll see why later. And I had to move my crock pot because the cord was not long enough to reach that outlet. So I moved it over here and I plugged it in and you're gonna wanna put it on low for four to five hours. Now this is what I was talking about. You're gonna pour some cherry juice from the maraschino cherries and you're going to use some brown sugar. I literally just took a handful and scooped some in there. And you're gonna whisk this all together and you're gonna pour that right over top of the ham. This will add so much flavor and it's kind of like a different flavor than what you're used to. And then with the leftover pieces of pineapple, I took some cherries and I used some toothpicks and I poked them through throughout the top of the ham and this helps to add some flavor and it just looks pretty. <laughs> So this is what your ham should look like. You're gonna put the lid on and you're gonna let it cook. Now, throughout the day, you're gonna wanna baste your ham. Put those juices all over. This will help to soak in the flavor all throughout the ham instead of just cooking it down at the bottom. I remember growing up at like Christmas, we would always have a ham and I remember seeing my mom and dad, anytime they'd walk by the crock pot or the roaster, they would always baste the ham. Now with the ham, I went ahead and made some sweet potatoes. I put some cinnamon, nutmeg and brown sugar and threw some marshmallows on top towards the end. Now we're gonna go ahead and add this mixture, which is one tablespoon of ginger.
and a dash of red pepper or dried chili flakes and then some brown sugar as well and you're going to go ahead and whisk this all together and then sprinkle it over the top of the ham. Now if I were to do this again I probably wouldn't add that extra brown sugar just because I had already added it with the sh uh, cherry juice so I think that I would just add the ginger and the red pepper flakes and just sprinkle that over the top. Now this is just going to help add a little bit different flavor and not so much sweetness. It was really good and like I said I would omit the brown sugar the next time. Now here is Ryan doing the manly task of cutting the meat. This is his first time ever cutting a ham. I don't think he's even ever cut a turkey. <laughs> so we're learning. Uh, he had a YouTube video actually pulled up to teach him how to do it. So he went ahead and cut all the ham for me as I finished the sweet potatoes. Now I put marshmallows on the top of the sweet potatoes and I broiled them at 500 for about three minutes and this just helped to brown the marshmallows on top and it was so good. This is what the sweet potatoes look like. They're basically like dessert. <laughs> and this is what the ham looked like when it was all cut up. Guys, this was so good. It was so juicy and tender. I will definitely be making a ham in the crock pot from now on. It was so easy to do. So here is the food all plated and if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and if you try any of my recipes please tag me either in the comments of this video or on my Instagram. I'd love to hear it and as you can see it's even kid approved. Like I said thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.